I'm Cicely. I'm Tony's friend and a wardrobe stylist. You're watching the Media Mart, and this is my ride. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. No, good. Right. Right. Let's get a little close. Ready? Good. So this is my friend Cicely. Hi. I call her Mode. M O D E dot. Period. Period. And she has a 2000 something. Three or four. Volkswagen Golf. And she's invited me here to test drive it because she knows I do car reviews, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So tell me, why did you buy the car? It's cute. Because it's cute. It is cute. I wanted a Volkswagen. They're safe. She wanted a safe car. They are reliable. And from what I'm told, the Golf is a pretty snazzy car to drive. It's fun to drive. It's, it's a also a hatchback, and I like hatchbacks. She puts a lot of gear and stuff. Oh, I didn't tell them. Cicely is a stylist, right? Yep. An editor, and what else? And a writer. And a writer. So you gotta, you gotta book her. All right. If you need somebody to make sure your film shoot goes well, if you need some creative copy, I know we're buddies. I mean, we haven't known each other all that long. <laughs> Do you trust me to drive your car? Oh, first of all. Her car's name is Herman. 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 Herman Rolf, the Volkswagen Golf. You trust me to drive Herman? I do. Let's Herman's go. ready. Let's go. All right. So thank you. Love this car. Wow. What? Uh, I can't. This is a five speed. Yeah. I can't drive a stick. What you know mean? what? You know what? You drive and I'll film. No. It. What do you think? You can't drive a stick shift? No. You review cars and you can't drive a stick shift? I can't drive a stick. Well, you're going to learn today. Put your seatbelt on. Okay. Come on, Where? put your seatbelt on. Because safety always comes first. What All if right. we were in an accident right out here yep. and you had to drive? Okay, right. wait, wait, wait. You got to push the clutch in first. All right. Left. All the way down? All the way down. All and right. put the brake on, y'all. What do you mean for the brake? Oh, brake two? Yeah. The brake two? Yep. Now, this is why I don't drive a stick. Do you, are you familiar with the basic premise of what you're about to do? Uh, yeah, I drive the car. Yeah. <laughs> yes, all right. Yeah. All right, this is what you want to do. Take your foot off of the, well, put it in gear. Put it in first. First is, no, all the, all the way to the left and then up. That's reverse. No, you have to push down. It's a Volkswagen, so you have to push it down. All right. Feel that? That's yep. reverse. Oh. Okay. When you want to go into second, second is straight back. Straight back. First to second is easy. What do we need to do now? What you want to do is, here's your feet. Left, right. All right. Take your foot off the clutch and your foot off the brake. But take your, take your foot off the brake quickly, your right foot, and put it on the gas. And then simultaneously, take your foot off of the clutch and put your other foot onto the gas like that. You want to do it even. What? Put down as much pressure on the gas as you release off of the clutch at the same time. Like a waddle. Yes. All right. If the car chokes, if it starts going like this, yeah. push the clutch in. All right. If it kind of goes, hit the gas. All right. So at worst, you're going to peel out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, put it in second. Put it in second. Push the clutch in. Take your foot off the gas. All right. Off the gas. In second. Now back on the gas. All right. We're rolling now, baby. <laughs> Shit, we're gonna die. <laughs> okay. Now what do I do? Um, well, if you wanna keep going. Okay. <laughs> keep going. Okay. okay, wait, wait, wait. Alright. Listen for it, listen for it. Hear it? Okay. Right. Clutch. Off off the gas. Clutch. Third is straight up. There you go. Yep, you're okay. You're okay. Look at that. Okay. Now what about this is fun to people? Because this is not Okay, fun. when we go back, let me drive and I'll show you why it's uh, fun. Because I'm a smooth operator. You're smooth. On the right, clutch. Now what do I do? You can get there. You're okay for now. Alright. Did I scare you there? Just a little. I just, I took, hey, you gotta get, you gotta be a uh, certain. No, that was life. good. When you've, when you've <laughs> driven, like I've driven an automatic my whole life, and you're asked to do something new, you kind of forget the old principles. Because right in the beginning, I was like, how do I stop the car? <laughs> How do I stop it? Okay, you want to go to fourth? Go straight back. Sure. Foot off the gas. Foot off the gas. Clutch on in. the clutch. Straight, straight back. back. You got it. See, you're you're choking a little bit when you're putting it back on because you're not even yet. That's okay. When oh, I so drive, it's got to it, be it sort of like that. a. Shoo. Right. Equal pressure on and equal pressure off. So let me talk about the vehicle. While I have my sanity, my wits about me, I'm loving this car. You need to get into fourth. <laughs> no, I right, you're going on. too fast. Right. Feels very sporty. Very German-like. We've got all these uh, bikers. Bikers out. We're on the Natchez Trace Parkway, and it's beautiful. So there are bikers. 
and maybe this wasn't the greatest idea because bikers are like 10 points each. Yeah. So anyway, love it. Love the feel of it. Tight steering. Love these kind of S curves here. Mm -hmm. But I'm not not necessarily getting the the joy of driving the manual yet. You get used to it. Part of the joy of the manual is you feel more in control of the car. At least I do. Like I feel less in control. Of really? The car. Well, because I don't know how to drive it. Right. Well, you get used to it. When I drive an automatic, I feel like I'm not in control of the car. And part of that is because I'm so used to driving a manual, I actually have to sit on my left foot, okay. or I'll swing for the clutch, hit the brake, and hit my head on the steering wheel. Does this car have um, convenience features like air conditioning? It does. Would you like me to oh, turn yeah. it on? <laughs> it's got a CD player and a tape player, which actually was a selling point for me because I still have all my tapes. So Because you're I old can, school. I'm old school. Old I, school I can listen to my Smith's tapes in Herman. Thanks, Herman. All right, so let me ask you a question. Okay. On a scale of like one to 10, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. 10 being like not the best. Yeah. And one being sort of like the worst. Yeah. For like a new driver. Oh, she's getting Shit. a call. We didn't give her the no cell phone rule <laughs> for the shoot. So on a scale of one to 10, as a new stick driver, how do you rate me? You're like an 8.5. I'm an 8.5. You're doing very well. I'm very impressed. Now, I'm sure there are going to be a fair amount. YouTube is an interesting place. <laughs> so I'm sure there are going to be a fair amount of you guys that are going to be calling me all sorts of nice names that come to mind. I'm not going to give you. I'm no not going to give you any ideas. But do you think it's like a little bit unmanly that I don't know how to drive a stick? Does a that little. tarnish your view and image of me? A little. So. Talk to me a little bit more about this vehicle. So you love Herman. I do love Herman. They actually do not make the Golf anymore. They don't? The Golf was discontinued. Now they make the Rabbit. Okay. And Rabbits are a little bit smaller. Okay. And when Herman bites it, yep. I will probably get a Rabbit. Okay. I love this car. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving this car, too. I love it. You can get your gang, as Trista says, you can get your gangster lane. You can gangster lane. lane. Yep. Like lane in this yeah. car. Yeah. Right? My next question is a real important question. Yes. Where, where are we going to eat? We got to eat. I mean, I said, you know, you're out of town or so player's choice. Because you know what? Been there, done that with this. Done that with this. I've driven. The, I am now a certified manual transmission kind of guy. You get the seal of approval. I'm never Life doing it again. Lifelong stick driver <laughs> gives you a seal of approval. All Come right. On. So we have been driving for God knows how long. And I'm looking for a clean place to turn around. But she's telling me she's hungry and she wants me to just turn this car around. He now. said he was hungry. Slow this down and park it somewhere in the grass. That's what she's telling me to do. We can do it. It's park cool. it in the grass. Going into anything. Okay. If you're just going to full step, push clutch in, clutch in, clutch in. <laughs> what does that do if I let off if the clutch? If you let off the clutch, the car will die. Oh. All right. Um, you're good. Hop out. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now watch me do it. This is fun. Yeah, looks fun to me. And I know exactly how fast I'm going because I'm in fourth. If I gotta go to fifth, okay. I know how fast I am. Well, fifth you can go anywhere between you know 60 and 100. So this looks a lot faster than I was going. It is. In fact, I never went to fifth. You know the other ultimate fun thing about the stick shift? What's that? You can peel out like a mother. Really? Yes. She's a curse of all like this girl. <laughs> F of this, F of that. That's You're a potty mouth. No, I'm gonna have to edit you out. I'm gonna have to bleep you. I'm gonna have to bleep her. I can just say mother if you like. Let me thank you for teaching me how to drive a stick. My pleasure. Your hospitality. Absolutely. And Herman, thank you very much. Hope you have a long life ahead of you. Me too. Take care of my buddy. Keep her safe. And we're gonna go eat. Where are you taking me? So there you have it, another honest auto review from an average guy and... A stylist. A smoking hot stylist at that. If you're in the market for a pre-owned vehicle that's great, that's fast, that's quick, that's easy to learn how to drive a stick on, I'm rhyming, you have to take a look at the 2003 or 2004 Golf. Golf. From V-Dub. V-Dub. And I'll see you next time. Thank you, girl. Yeah. On the way over, I was uh, I went on a trail. It said Jackson Falls. I was like, oh shit, there's a like, waterfall. Taking a little bit of a hike off the Natchez Trace Parkway.
going to a place called Jackson Falls. It says Jackson Falls, third of a mile. Yeah. That way. About a third of a mile on this trail. Come across this great old tree right here. Looks like a piece of driftwood. That's a nature break. What other channel do you go to where you get auto reviews, food, and nature? Come on. I was a little bit early. I can do the third of a mile to see a beautiful waterfall. On my way to Jackson Falls, I tell you, this is the longest third of a mile walk I've ever taken in my life. I get to the, a third of a mile down, it was a bathroom. But you know what, I'm in luck because I think I found a restaurant. Sorry. I mean, what was all this beauty and I go to a bathroom? Hey man, if you gotta go, you gotta go. No, I mean, there was no falls. <laughs> There was a bad That one. is the falls. Yeah, Jackson Falls yeah. was me. Get it? All right, I feel a little duped because there were no falls at Jackson Falls. I guess it's just a fancy name for a rest area off the Natchez Trace. Get it? <laughs> My name is not Jackson.